feels like being back in school. So, were you voted anything in school? Well, you know, most likely to anything? Well, yes, I was voted most likely to have difficult children. <laughs> I wonder how he's doing. Joshua Your sister is doing just fine. I spoke to her yesterday, and of course she's driving at Melinda crazy. Mm. Molly McQuinn? Molly? Never put anything in the capsule. Come on up. <laughs> Hubert Billings. Hubie. I'm telling you, I did not put this in. Marty McQuinn? Oh, uh, that's my maiden name. Before I walked down the aisle. Whoa. Must be a collectible. I definitely did not put this in the time capsule. Well, it's sort of unique. No, honey, it's kind of ugly. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Miss McQuinn, you and Mr. Anderson report directly to detention now. Steve Anderson. Afraid so. It's good to see you again, Molly. Well, um... <clears throat> This is Annie, my sort of temporarily adopted daughter and new friend. Yeah, and I'm... My son, Jack. Jack? Annie, pleasure. So, uh, you gotta watch, too. Well, yeah, but actually it's kind of strange because I didn't... Put it in the capsule? Neither did I. Weird, huh? Nothing but net. <laughs> Swish. So, were you two, like, best friends? Well... No. No. No, we were partners in crime. We, see, we had this really weird science teacher, Mr... Cox? Yeah, he's still here. And still weird. <laughs> oh, boy. He had it in for us. He, he always sent us to detention, and just us two. I mean, detention was, like, the worst. Because there was this mean old detention monitor, Miss... Mitchell. And she would think up the most horrible things to keep us busy. You know, it's a funny thing, because I don't ever remember doing anything to deserve detention. 
Neither did I. I was an angel. I'm sure I heard you chatting with your friends during class at least a million times. Hey, Nick. Where's your mom? In there. Showing off her new daughter. I think it's a flute. A flute? You play? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so, listen. You and Jack. You guys having a problem? I just... I don't think he really likes having me around. No, I... Jack just misses feet. So I, we all do. Molly most of all, but... But she still goes out of her way to make me feel good. Well, yeah, because I think you make her feel good. Besides, she's a mom. You know how moms are. The funny thing is, is you and Jack, you're actually a lot alike. You are? Yeah. You guys just can't see it, though. I mean, people sometimes can't see what's right in front of them. Don't worry about it, though. All you two need is some time. Hey, Jack. Hey. Ta-da! The world's two ugliest watches. Great. Yeah, well, I just thought you'd like it. What's going on? I don't know. No talking! It's not good. Uh, man, I must have been so far. August 9th, 1974. Why is she reading an old newspaper? No. <laughs> That's brand new. It can't be brand new. Because then this would be 1974, and we'd be in detention, and this would be... Miss Mitchell? Mitchell? You know what I love about hot dogs? That you can hold one in each hand. Yes. Yeah. Have you seen Jack and Ann? Mm-hmm. They're, um, they're both outside. Okay, so far this is all either A, a dream, or B, a joke. Jack, she's reading a paper from 1974. How do you explain that? Hello, Annie. They just opened a time capsule from 1974. Clothes and paper. Okay. On the other hand, I hit my head on the pavement, so this could also be a result of a concussion. All right, so I'm covered. Jack, face it. Something's going on, and it's not a dream or a joke. That is so Annie. Skip logical and go straight for impossible. Molly? Mom! 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 Mom, can you hear me? All right, I admit. 
admitted, I did get caught talking in class one time, but that was it. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. I'm just wondering where Jack and Annie disappeared to. When you're responsible for someone else's kid, you get a little uptight. Yeah, well, they can't be very far. I'll help you look. Thanks. Wait, wait, no! Mom! Okay, so how do you explain that, Jack? I don't know. Soundproof glass or something. This is obviously someone's idea of a joke. Okay. I'm telling you, Jack, this is 1974, and we are in a detention room. Okay, let me think. Last thing I remember is the watch. That's strange. It's glowing. What? What are you doing here? Uh, I'm sorry. I have to go. Hmm. Why did we get sent here? We're done. Not quite. I can't. If you expect to leave here, you will. <clears throat> so wordy today. Maybe it's time we take out our homework. We don't have any homework. No. Could you just not say anything for once? I was just trying to help. Well, you're not helping, Annie. If I could leave here, I would, okay? And I'd pack your bags. I can't get over the feeling that somehow Mr. Cox is involved in all of this. Molly, just because he sent us to detention doesn't make him a kidnapper. You're right. I'm overreacting. Or am I? Mr. Cox, what's going on? Uh, you're both here, but I sent you to... You wouldn't have to have those uh, uh, watches, would you, from, from the capsule? You put the watches in there. Me? No. Ah, uh, what watches? My kids have those watches, Mr. Cox. And if you don't tell me what's going on, you're never going to need a watch again. Kids, oh my. What do you mean, oh my? I mean, I, um... I don't have any idea what you're talking about, Ms. McQuinn. And furthermore, 
I can see that the two of you obviously have not changed one iota to the couple of troublemakers, despite my own best efforts. Believe me, if I could send you two back to detention, I would do it. I'm done. I can't finish my last sentence. come to my attention that I might nonetheless owe you an explanation. Steve spent a lot of time in here. They thought they didn't like each other, but I knew that they did. I was always trying to help them along by giving them some time. <laughs> I was always trying to make up any old excuse to get them. To... <laughs> but they still couldn't learn to be friends. So I invented the watches. I put them into the time capsule, and I waited all to give them one last chance. Which brings me to the um, not-so-good news. I can't get you out. Only you can do that. All you have to do is like each other. You see, I cleverly designed these timepieces so that they would reflect the wearer's moods. Um, ah. What you want is blue. Blue is, is happiness, love, like the sky or the ocean. Um, when your watches both turn blue, you will be free to go. I'm glad I'm not here alone. Me 
Miss Mitchell. All this, it's just unfair. I mean, we do what you tell us to, and then you just make up more. We learned how to write on the chalkboard and how to write a research paper and how to pick gum off of desks. What else can we do? You know what, young man? You've got a lot of courage. Yeah? And I hate that. You! You may go. What do you mean? Go? Go, exit, leave, out. Go on, honey. Don't be stupid. Go. Jack, I can see the door again. Go on. Who knows? This young man may well be here forever. You may not get another chance, Anna. Ever. Go. Annie. Jack, I know it's been weird having me around. And I know you miss C, but I miss people too, you know? My mom and dad? Everyone misses somebody, don't you think? Yeah. I miss V. A lot. And if I left here, I think I'd... I think I'd miss you a lot. I don't think I'm going to mind having you around at all. Thanks, Jack. And I saw that, too. Watches turned blue and everything was gone. The blackboards, the books, the gum. Annie, I have spent a lot of time in detention, and believe me, that is not detention. I've tried to tell her it was a dream, Annie. Jack, so we had the same dream? How do you explain that? Ah, well, Ms. McQuinn, Mr. Anderson, children. Um, Mr. Cox, I'd like to apologize for how badly we behaved earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, may I have those watches back now, please? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This wasn't a dream. How'd you do it? Do it? Uh, the illusion. I mean, I gotta tell you, nice work. Really nice work. But hey. I don't have any Miss idea. Mitchell? <laughs> She was great. Miss Mitchell? Miss... Miss Mitchell passed on several years ago. Passed on? Watches. Hey. One thing you're gonna have to learn about me, Annie. No one pulls the wool over my eyes. Ask me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Touch running this very minute. I'll be over in. And here we are again. It's a one, one, one in a million world. I don't know. It still 
sounds like there's something missing. Right? What do you guys think? Annie? Sorry. No! No, don't be sorry. Come in here. I want to hear it. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, come on, Annie. Join us. <laughs> I didn't know you played. I guess I do. Okay, then let's give it a shot. Hang out with the Monday Night Football Club and check out some of today's hottest athletes in Disney Channel's original series, The Jersey, here on Disney Channel. Disney Channel's original series, The Jersey. Then, blast off for an alien adventure with Lloyd in space. Hi, I'm Jake Thomas from Lizzie McGuire. You're watching Disney Channel. 